Welcome, welcome, welcome. History breaking. First ever Trumpet Master 77 show on YouTube. Happy Saturday, people. Who's all in the chat here? You have the dude. What's up, my dude? Always making them burgers. Always doing fantastic stuff with them burgers, man. I'm telling you. The last Gouda burger you made, that was, that was fire. What's up behind the garage? How's it going, bud? 805. What's up, Mr. Ho Hey? Welcome, welcome. We got time in the house. What you guys do today? Anything fun? Anything exciting? cook anything oh hey did you put anything on that conca today the vacation shit man let me tell you about your vacation my vacation was something else man BBQ Pit Vatos, welcome, Chuko, what's up, man? Um, so, as many of you, if Mike, what's going on, bud? <clears throat> so, I recently um, took a uh, trip up to Montana, drop off my son in college, uh, Montana State uh, University. Um, I, I, we drove because we were going to move him into his dorm. What's up, mama? Papa, I see you. Man, that, that trip was all kinds of crazy, man. Uh, we got there fine. It's a two-day trip. Um, on the way back, uh, there was some stuff, man. There was, there was some crazy stuff, man. The, uh, yeah, that's right. Um... The weather, the weather hit us up pretty bad uh, up in Wyoming on the way back, man. Uh, it was getting pretty bad. You know, I was monitoring the radar, and I didn't want to drive through that shit, man, because I don't like driving through that shit when I'm going on a road trip, uh, especially the flat plains, man. I mean, you come face to face with like a tornado. You know, luckily that didn't happen. But so I pulled over at a store. We pulled over. It was like for like 15 minutes. Um, just kind of waited for the storms to die down a little bit, and uh, I, I reapplied some Rain-X onto the windshield because that's one of the things I like to do anytime I. Uh... Yeah, I appreciate that, CJ. Thanks, bud. You guys can finally see my face, man. I did a uh, interesting cook today. I'll talk about that. But uh, Buzz and BBQ, what's up, baby? Rec tech, baby. Rec tech. <laughs> Eric, you out there? You out there still tilling the land with some cold beers? Y'all let me know if y'all want to jump on. I'm going to talk a, bit, a little bit about the road trip, though. 
Uh, so I stopped at a store, like 15, 20 minutes. Um, just waited for the storms to kind of go ahead of us. I was monitoring the, uh, the radar and I was seeing that I was kind of like driving parallel to it and it was eventually going to sweep over me, right? So that's why I pulled over in Wyoming. And so when I left the store, we come up this hill. It was like three miles down the street. I mean, three miles away from the store, dude. We're coming up this hill. And uh, I, 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 the first thing I'm seeing when we get to the top of these, uh, I get to the top of this hill is all these cars, man. They just pulled over to the side um, of the road. They've got busted windshields, busted windows, mirrors. They dropped. There was a motorcycle guy looking for something. I don't know what he was looking for, but he was just like walking around like this, you know. And um, all these cars were just slaughtered. I mean, they were just destroyed. And I looked, you know, I looked to the left and right, and um, everything was freaking white, man. Everything was white. It looked like it fucking snowed. Um, but it was, it was hell, is what it was. Uh, it was a big hellstorm, dude. The, the hell that was all over the street was just huge. It was massive. And at like, you know, like 300 yards to my left, I was like, the storm was right there just ravaging, you know, the field and everything. It was like, so crazy. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. And so like, just kind of drove real slow through that, and, you know, got the hell out of Dodge and kept coming home. But uh, yeah, that that weather in Wyoming on the way back, that was intense, man. And I wanted to cut across all the way into uh, Colorado uh, on the way back. Can you guys hear me? I forgot to ask you guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll stop talking just to make sure you guys can hear me. Can you hear me? What's up, Darnell? I'll see you, bud. This is my first time doing a, a YouTube live, guys. So if I miss one of these comments, uh, feel free to put it up there again. I don't want to miss anybody because it happens to me all the time when um, I'm on somebody else's live. Uh, hey, what's up, Joe? What's crack a So, okay, good. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, right on, right on. So, uh, back to my story. Um, yeah, it was just some intense weather uh, through Wyoming, and I wanted to cut all, all the way into Colorado on the way back on the first night, right? And so, the storm it, it, it is still coming from from west to east, and I'm coming south, right? I'm headed southeast, and. It, you know, I'm monitoring the uh, the weather radar while I'm driving, so I know that it's going to catch me um, in Colorado. I just know that it's going to catch me. I'm just, you know, I'm cruising at 80, 85, and um, so the stopping point was set to uh, Colorado, um, and you know, we finally made it there. Can you aim the camera at your hands? <laughs> no, I, I was. I would, Eric, man, but uh, my hands are busy dealing with some cold beers. Some cold beers. Basically, that means beers that are cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, luckily, uh, we made it to Colorado. We stayed in, uh, shit, I forgot the name of the little town. Uh, Colorado on the way back. Um, Fort something. It was Fort something. Anyway. Um, so next morning I'm trucking along. We're coming home. And um, again, I'm on cruise control. 80, 85 miles an hour. There's this truck like to the front and right of me. And you know, the slow traffic has to stay on the right hand side. So I'm just getting it, right? And all of a sudden, dude, like out from under it, shoots this uh, this uh, uh, flat shovel. It just shoots out from underneath that truck, man. 
and it launches it my way. And I'm like, holy shit. So, like, my first reaction is kind of swerve, just to turn a little bit, just to kind of uh, avoid it. But all these safety things that these cars have, basically what it did is just slowed the car down, like, like immediately, and it locked the wheel to where I couldn't even turn it. It's like, all right, whatever. Uh, so the shovel made it up underneath the car, and it bounced, you know, from the street up to the bottom of the car. Uh, the SUV and uh, man I thought we punctured uh, brake line um, I thought we punctured a hole in the um, in the fuel tank that kind of thing it was crazy it was crazy man so I stopped at the next gas station there was nothing wrong everything was cool luckily the tire didn't hit it but the thing is when that shovel went up underneath the SUV I looked up in my uh, rear view and it just launched it, man, to the back, to the right, right? And so, right there was an 18-wheeler. And I saw it go up under that 18-wheeler. And after that, I didn't see it. So, I was like, holy shit, man. So, that thing got mangled up and got chewed up by several different vehicles before it made its final resting place. Um, but, yeah, so that was kind of a dangerous situation. Um... And then when I finally, we finally get into Texas, man, and it was, it was the creepiest experience. It was like, uh, it was kind of like a bad dream. Um, you guys ever have a dream where all you're trying to do is get home and it's just like so many different obstacles are in your way and you just like, in your dream, you're thinking, all I want to do is get home. And it's just like, no matter what you try and do you just can't make it home and and you see tornadoes in the distance and all that and man i'll tell you there was miles and miles of texas up in the panhandle uh where the dirt is still red kind of like oklahoma and uh as far as you could see guys it was nothing but uh um dust devils and they were red and they were just spinning up everywhere man as far as you could see both sides it was the creepiest shit, man. You just saw all these red dust devils just spinning up, man, on both sides of the interstate. And as far as you could see, it was the creepiest freaking thing that you could think of, man. It was just nuts. It gave me chills just, just thinking about it. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, for sure. Um... But yeah, that was, it was a pretty crazy time, but we made it home safe. I kept trucking. The plan was we were going to stay in Arlington, but um, I got there. I was like, you know what? Let's just get some food and just stay on the road. Let's see let's see where we make it. I made it home that day. But man, I'll tell you, it was like 15 hours of driving. And um, I, needed, I needed basically the week to just kind of relax and rest from that. It, it was... Uh, pretty intense uh, uh, let's see what's going on in this chat uh, where am I at deal Juan there's an uncle Juan up in here okay Chilling from uh, uh, 26 Weber for some burgers. All right, good game. I did a rib cook today, baby backs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted uh, some of the rib cook. Um, um, yeah, that's right. I've been in some novellas before, uh, Darnell. I don't know if you know what a novella is, but I would tell you my real name, but I don't want you to research me too much. Um, yeah, it was. Luckily, it was safe. Yeah, it wasn't plastic, buddy. It was the real deal. And it was crazy because a few miles up the road, um, we saw a crowbar like right there on the interstate. So it's like whoever dropped that shovel, I guarantee they dropped that damn crowbar too. Oh, you guys, what that, talking about that foosball? The record is crazy. Well. I did. I did record a bunch of it. Um, oh, hey. 
uh, my wife, when, when I was driving, trying to like really pay attention to the road a lot, but the car pretty much drives itself. Um, so I did get a lot of good video, lots and lots of good video. Uh, I need to chop that up and make a, a video on it and just kind of share it with, I don't know, family is what I was really thinking, but if you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll put it up here. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, huh, Joe? What you know about that? <laughs> it's just the stuff that's in here. Um, uh, StreamYard. I originally had it uh, scheduled and set up under um, EV Mox. I don't know if you guys are familiar with EV Mox, but it's it's better than StreamYard. It gives you much, much better options. You guys need to check it out. EV Mox. E V M U X. PC born and PG raised. I hate the name change. It's the rock star. What's going on, bud? Welcome. No, I have not caught it now. Yeah, it was a real, it was a real crowbar. Very dangerous. I saw some motorcycle. I, I don't know. I guess it was like a big motorcycle uh, meet or something. Because man, we saw like hundreds of bikes everywhere, just getting it. Yeah, novelas. Oh, hey, I'm, I've been in a couple novelas. Uh, we'll talk behind the scenes. I'll let you know what those were. Um, I just don't want to share that information out in the public. I'm not. Uh, I don't know if I. I don't know if I can talk about that. But I'll let you know. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, it was a long trip, man. It was two days there. Um, on the way up there, it was like, I could have made it up there in two days, but there was no need for us to, to make it all the way up to Bozeman, uh, the second day, because we were going to move, the plan was we were going to move in on Saturday, uh, but we got there a whole day early and I was like, you know what, let's just stop at Billings. That was a badass hotel, by the way. It was called the Bighorn of Billings, uh, the big, the Bighorn Hotel, dude, it had a full blown casino. It had an indoor water park. It had um, it had everything, bro. Full blown bar, just twenty four seven. Obviously, I was pretty tired to do anything with that. But uh, we did eat at that uh, restaurant that's attached to it. It's called uh, Ribbon Chop. Amazing, amazing food. I mean, it's probably the best chicken fried steak I've ever had. Um, you didn't need a knife to cut it. You just, just with your fork just. It was just amazing. I put that on my on my gram if anybody caught that. What's that? Is the tad better? What's going on, BBQ Ross? Are you doing all right, man? Yeah. Get a hurt? Yeah, novellas pay pretty good. It's just seasonal. You gotta work, 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 and then you get paid, and and that's it. Um, no, but I, I can tell you this: um, the main issues that people have with it when it does that, uh, when it smolders, is be sure you clean those little vents out. Take you like a little credit card. What I do is I get a flat screwdriver like every every fourth or fifth cook. I'll get a flat screwdriver and I'll get my shop back. And I'll open the lid. And you know where all those vents are on the top lid. I'll just kind of like run the screwdriver by there with the shop back on the back side. And it cleans all that out. And you also have to... Uh, you also have to clean out the, the buildup... Thank you. 
sorry, guys, I was replying to a text. Uh, you also have to clean up the build up uh, where the clamshell, you know, because it's like a clamshell design where it closes all along the edge on both sides, on the lid and on the bottom. Be sure you have that little spacer that it came with. You have to put that little spacer on the top. Uh, it, it, believe it or not, man, it builds up quite a bit of carbon. And it's and the, the, the bullseye is all about airflow. So if it's getting choked down, you, you got issues with either your vents or the or the carbon buildup around them where it connects. <sighs> or you got some bad pellets. But that thing, dude, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with me in it, that um oh wait, you're talking about the seven hundred. You're not talking about the bull side. You're talking about the bull. Uh, no, I haven't had issues with that. No. Misfiring and smoldering. Oh, back surgery. Man. Man, I hope you get well soon, bro. I hear that that's what you... I hear that's something you don't want to get operated on. But hopefully you pull through that. Yeah, I could have been on that show too. Sleeper, what's going on, bro? I tried to call you, uh, was it a couple of weeks ago? I tried to call you just to bullshit with you because... You know, you and I, we used to just kind of shoot shit on the phone. I was, I, I did get through to you. You were sick and I was checking up on you, man. How you doing? You doing a lot better? What are you sorry about, bro? You good? Yeah, um... Uh, right now, I'm sipping on some Jack Daniels and some Coke with some ice. It's very little Coke in it. But really, it, it's just kind of a warm-up for when I'm really about to jump in. It's uh, Oktoberfest, Young Thing. Now, I recently tried these. Uh, not tried the Oktoberfest ones, but I went to HEB uh, the other day, and there was this huge pallet, right? Big display. I was like, nah, I got somebody at the house. And uh, I looked again, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, it's Oktoberfest. And I love me some Oktoberfest, man, like Samuel Adams' Oktoberfest. This shit's crack. So I picked up a couple uh, cases of this stuff. So we're about to try it. I'll let you guys know how it is. Fantastic. <sighs> Get you guys some. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm sipping on, bro. Uh, let me see. I do all that have only had once. Each bullseye first time of the day. I love my bullseye, man. I use that thing a lot. You know, I, I post a lot of stuff on my bullseye, and I, I use it a, a lot more than when I post. I'll tell you that. That thing is just so convenient, so easy to clean, so easy to use. Just roll it out, fire it up, man. It gets up to temp like that. The best steaks, dude. I've eaten the best steaks cooked on that damn thing. That thing is amazing. Also got the uh, the cast iron uh, grate for it. Ooh. Excuse me. That big 22 inch cast iron grate. That thing's fantastic, man. You can really sear some stuff. Um, yeah, but if that 700 is wigging out on you like that, man, I I haven't had any issues with mine like that. Um, have you tried to adjust your feed rate? Hit me up on Instagram. I'll walk you through that process, man. There's 
it is just bad ass what you can do with that thing. Appreciate that whole hang. I really do. And it once with the bull. Yeah. Yeah, get well soon, though. That's the real deal sleeper right here, Mr. Sleep. Sleepy leap. You really are a sleeper, bro. Yeah, no, it's all good. Yo, damn. Get a call on the bullshit with the trumpet master. Man, if you want to jump on, let me know, man. I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link on there. Like I said, this is my first time on a, on one of these, so you guys are gonna have to walk me through how to do that. How about that? Uh, by the way, we had a hell of a good time last night on my Instagram. <laughs> we had a damn good time last night. I had a really good time. We were having a really good time, and then Eric's phone crapped out, and then it was just down to us three. Gave away uh, four bottles of rub last night on some ducky races. That shit was just fantastic, man. If anybody in here enjoyed seeing that, uh, let me know. That was a good time. Welcome, Quint. The hater. What's up with that, John? You said that last night on my Instagram. Clarify. That seems to be Little Trumpet, the most hated. How about that? The most hated. Yeah, let's say that. That's my boy Daniel. He was on the Instagram last night. We had a hell of a good time last night. Until um, I, I haven't researched it. Um, maybe there's like a time limit on on the lives or Instagram, but all of a sudden it was just like on my phone. It was like, uh, your live stream has ended, and it was just like black. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess that was it. Yeah, it, it depends on what I what I cook in it. Um, if I'm doing like a, a pork butt, which by the way, dude, I'll be honest with you, I think that bullseye cooks a pork butt better than on the 700. It really does. You just get much a much much better bark. Um, when I do when I do a pork butt, I will put you know a little full tray up under the grate. Uh, I put the uh, the pork butt. You know, I'll fill it up with a couple of beers. Um, yeah, that's how I like to cook a pork butt in that thing. I still haven't done a brisket in it. I've been wanting to. But I'm pretty sure that you're going to get some fantastic results. Um, you know, anything long and slow uh, like that, you really want to put a drip tray up under it for sure. Because it's designed for a, it's a hot, fast cooker. You know what I mean? So anything like that drips down there, it's just going to vaporize. But yeah, I love that thing, man. I'm actually... I don't think I can talk about that yet, but... More to come on that. Uh, I, I think I used my bullseye... I think I put it on riot mode one time just to see what it did. Bro, that thing got hot. You know, it peaks out. It peaks out like 749. Bullshit, man. The controller shows 749. But it gets a lot hotter than that, dude. It just keeps getting hot. That thing is crazy, man. Hey, Steven. What's up, buddy? Antonia, welcome. Wow. That's my hairdresser, y'all. She does a damn good job. Can't you tell? Look at that. Crisp and clean. Most hated. Most hated. (laughs) 
<laughs> most hated. I mean, look at this. Come on. Quinn, let's see him catch up on this chat. Damn, these messages. Guys, yeah, gonna have to let a brother know something. Try to catch back up on this thing. I didn't realize it was. Oh yeah, yeah. It did that. It did that to me one time, and I cleaned out my vents, and I cleaned out all the carbon on the connection points on the lid and the, and the base, and I was I was good to go. So now I do that. I clean it out every three to five cooks. I'll clean those those um, those vents. Really have to be cleaned out. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty hardcore, bro. I mean, that'd be awesome if we were like back in high school. But no, man. <laughs> We're going ass man. We don't have to mess with that kind of stuff. Phone <sighs> call. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you my phone number, man. If you really want to talk, shoot me up. Oh. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but last night was Camp House Eric's very first time being on Instagram Live. So I got him. Um. I was his first. <laughs> he got right. <sighs> Wrenches. Yeah, uh, talk me through it, man. I'll, I'll definitely set set some of you guys up for that. Yeah. I mean, it's just a smart thing to do. Um, hell, I'm... You guys out there cooking on Weber's, I mean, it just makes sense, too. It's just, it's no different. Yeah, you don't want to get caught up in a, in a situation. <laughs> Wake up, your shit's toast. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, I've never had to worry about any of that on my bowl. On my, uh, bowl. That thing cooks anything. That thing is a beast. And I will happily be asleep all night long while it's cooking, while it's working. I trust it 100%. 100%. Lance, I've sent you invites in the past, but Instagram is more, it's designed more for like your phone. Um, and you, and you can access it on, on your PC, on your computer, but a lot of the features are not on there if you do it that way. So it's, it's really designed to be, um, on your phone. Yeah, hey, thanks, Troy. My very first show. History making. Groundbreaking. <laughs> I had my boy uh, Carl from Circle Star Brisket Rub. He he had some things he had going on today, but the plan was like yesterday, we gave away four bottles of rub. I was going to do the same exact thing today, but I wanted him to be a part of it. Um, so I may have to do that next time. Yeah. Okay. Hairdresser, baby. Don't get it twisted. Interesting. I've I've been one. I I see that stuff on Instagram all the time. I just feel like I think uh, I think Gorilla Joe, Gorilla Joe's BBQ. He he did a video on that recently, and um, I think. it looked really good. Just I don't know about like doing them. Like I feel like I would have to like boil them for a little bit. You know that's that's something that I still want to do. And every time I go to the store and I see the uh, the frozen pizzas, I'm just like, man, I I just haven't done it yet. Apparently he cooks the shit out of some frozen pizzas. 
really want to try it. Uh, I will. Yeah, let me let me jot that down. <laughs> That's right. Um, you know, it's the it's the newest and most improved, most popular beer out there, making its rounds on YouTube. Um, the dude introduced me to it. Patty Joe beer. Patty Joe beer. GMG. I do like a GMG. I'd like to get my hands on a GMG. Um, I like I like the uh, the attachments and everything. They've got it going on, man. They've got a really good like, 12 volt. I mean, those cookers are awesome. I like I like the rotisserie option. I, they they offer a lot, man. They also have that pizza oven attachment. They're, they're kind of cool. I'd like to get one. I don't know if that's accurate. Is that true? Don't know. I don't remember having to do that. On Instagram. The smoke fire, that's the Weber. That's the Weber pellet grill, right? I don't understand the question. It hurt. Oh, you're asking what camera I use? Or, or are you asking why it looks so good? Can you clarify? <laughs> Lance is 100%. I think he was... I, th- I think he was stuffing Pop-Tarts in his sausage casing. Yeah, here's Mr. Burnt Hands. What's up, brother? He was on the live last night, but Instagram just for some reason decided to chop off. <laughs> it was, it was just, okay, that's enough for y'all. You, you, you Muskins are having too much fun. It was four Muskins just being silly. And next thing you know, they just pulled the plug on him. Yeah, I, I gotta reach out to you. I, I'll reach out to you on IG to get that uh, the Patty Joe swag. But if you guys don't understand what we're talking about, the Patty Joe beer making its rounds on YouTube. Patty Joe beer. Go see the dude's kitchen and grill and check out his commercials that he does on the Patty Joe beer. Fantastic. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I've seen the way that thing's designed, and it's like, man, would you trust cooking a long, low and slow overnight? Just the way that thing's designed, it's all those gaps in there. I don't know about that. Yeah, the coos. Straight up coos. Well, you know, Darnell, I, I was I've been trying to get you back on board on your on your um uh, Instagram show. You know, you know how we how we did it in the past. We had some really good hosts on there. Well, guests, I mean, um, but man, you seem to be pretty busy. So, no, typically what I'm doing now is I jump on Saturdays. I get anywhere from like seven thirty to whenever. Uh, but today, I was going to do my very first YouTube for an hour, and then eventually take the party out in the garage on Instagram. That's the plan. If anybody wants to follow. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, Steven, he's living it up, man. Living the life out there, Steven. Hey, you guys need to let me know how to throw some wrenches out there because one of the best ones out there um, I'd like to convert, you know. How do I how do I do that? Y'all let me know. <laughs> yeah, sorry bro. No, it's not an external cam. It, it it's it, it's on my Mac. It's on my desktop. It's on my Mac. I can't tell you what, what kind of camera it came with. On the, uh, are you talking about the, the smoke bar? The Weber? Yes, sir, I did. Oh, my goodness. You know, now that Marcus brought that up, let me let me talk about that because I've got them right here in front of me. Uh, not the ribs. Because um, I'm putting together the, the video tomorrow for it. Um, I did uh, a hell of a baby back cook today. Baby back ribs. Um, I seasoned them the same all four wraps I seasoned them exactly the same uh, I, I glazed them the same the only difference was uh, two racks had a different mop sauce than the other two so two racks had Let's see if that'll focus the Rodney Scott Rodney Scott sauce it was cracked and yeah, you guys guessed it. The other two, Mr. TNT mop sauce. So I mopped two of them with the, the TNT, and I mopped the other two with Rodney Scott. I wanted to put these two toe to toe with each other. I glazed them with the Gabbard BBQ sauce, candy jalapeno. Very light glaze. My goodness, man. These ribs, guys, I'm telling you, man. Wait till you see them. Wait till you see them. I have to open a different page. I'm not sure if I follow you, right? All right, take care, Tom. Appreciate you jumping in. Okay, let me try that. Hover over a person's name, click the tree, the, the three dots. I don't get that option. All it says is put user in timeout or block user. I don't have that option when I click the three, the three dots. Man, they get it, they get tore up, man. What do you think? Yeah, I've got some. I've got some family coming over tonight. Um, I've got, I've got. I think my little sister's showing up, but you know, her daughter. They tear them up, man. So listen. Uh, back to that rib cook. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, dude. Like, I tasted I tasted one of each, right? Because I'm doing my video like I normally do. And, uh, dude, you know, if you, you guys have seen my rib cooks, if you guys watch my videos, and, you know, I never add liquid to the wrap or anything like that. But in this case, it was a little different. I did add a little bit of each of these uh, sauces to the wrap, right, because I just felt like that was a good time to really introduce the sauces into the protein, and, um, you know, I wrapped them for a good hour, I don't do the three, two, one. I don't do that shit, I, I really don't, man, I, mine's more like a four, one, and a half, mine's more like a four, one, and a point five, is honestly what I do when I do ribs. 
um, or or just the five in a one. Seriously, and then I'll just like blaze it if I do. You know, um, that's what I do with my ribs. And uh, but this one I did a four, a one. I did like 45 minutes after I glazed. But um, my goodness, man, they're both great. Like they they really are, man. But straight up, my palate and what I like. Right here, baby. To Rodney Scott. To Rodney Scott wins. It, it fucking... It just wins. This shit right here. This shit right here. You guys... Y'all really, really gotta go and try some of this stuff, man. Go to the website and get you guys some. I'm not sponsored by any means. I'm not. This stuff right here... It's just amazing. And with that being said, a couple of people in the house here that liked this one better, they said that there was a little bit more sweetness to it. Uh, me, I'm not a real big sweet pork rib fan, but that's why Rodney Scott wins, man. Rodney Scott takes the cake, I'm telling you. Shit right there. I appreciate that, Chris, man. Welcome. Let's get it here. Open a different page to do what Camp House said. Mm. Like a like a different page on, on the uh, on the screen yard or on the actual YouTube page? Maybe on the YouTube page? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. You gotta do it on the YouTube page, not on... It doesn't give you that option in the stream card. So, with that being said, you know who gets the first moderator? Mr. Steven. Who else wants one? Who else wants one? Oh, hey, you get one, too. Darnell, you get one, too, my brother. Who else wants one? (sighs) Mike Brown, brother. Uh, I think I saw you. Uh, Mama and Papa Joe. Yeah, they're in here. Are they still in here? Man, I appreciate that, dude. You're awesome, bro. Scotty's Backyard. Mr. Mike Brown. Yes, sir, man. I know, dude, I, I, I know you were on your live just now, man. And I, I wouldn't try to cock block anybody, man. Trust me. I'm just, just really just trying to get this first one out the way, honestly. Welcome. Appreciate you jumping in. All right, man. Take care. TNT, uh, Lance, get you some Rodney Scotts. Get you some Rodney Scotts. I'm telling you, <laughs> just get you some, bro. That stuff, dude. That stuff. Yeah, uh, Darnell, for me, it was Rodney Scott, bro. Rodney Scott all the way. He just kills it, man. That stuff is just fantastic. You can use it as a as a salad dressing. I mean, look, look at how... Look at that. Can you guys see that? It's just fantastic, man. It just really is. Amazing. For me and my palate, the Rodney Scott all the way. Yeah. I think I'm catching up. I'm a little behind. Yep. I 
pasa? What do you mean? <laughs> Pásame la botella? What? Mad word? What's up, bud? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why. Take word, what? You want to rinse? Mad word, you want to rinse? I'll hook you up, brother. If that's what you're talking about. There you go. Candy bar. Man, it reminds me, oh, hey, uh, next cook I'm doing my, my dessert is going to be smoked Snickers bars. Top that shit. Smoked Snickers bars. And one of them is going to be wrapped in bacon, baby. <laughs> the dude, you know, the dude, you're about to get a rinse too, my friend, because you were the very first one on this groundbreaking, history-making, first ever Trump and Master 77 show. The dude. I just got to find you. There you are. There you are, my friend. P digits. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. P digits. What's going on, man? Uh, P digits. Now I know the name. I remember you were you were originally going to be in this competition, and uh, we couldn't. None of us could contact you. We couldn't get a hold of you, and we ended up moving forward without you. Welcome, bud. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's another thing. You guys gotta let me know how to share this uh, this link. Do I just grab it from my browser and paste it into the chat? Is that how I do it? Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. I like that. sauce at comps at home rarely man I'll tell you uh, CJ I know how you feel about that I, I kind of am like that in a, in a way but dude this uh, this Gabrick uh, BBQ sauce this candy jalapeno fantastic man fantastic oh yeah for sure Steven you're the best you're the best moderator in the game on this chat. Pasa la rinch. I got you, right? Hey, do Did I get you? Or did I miss you? I thought I, get, I, I thought I gave you one. Mr. Keenan, what's cracking? Welcome. Barbacoas, bandits, hey guys, yo, trumpets. There's my boy. Did you stock up on beer? I saw that message you left. Lunacy queuing. I like that name. Mr. Triple B, RIP to, to your ho ho, man. Sorry you lost her. Dude, there's plenty more out there, man. Dude, they're everywhere. You'll get you get one back up on again. Maybe maybe your next live you can you can host a fundraiser to get you a new one. For sure, for sure. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you, I'm going to get a Snickers bar, I'm going to wrap it in bacon, and I'm going to season it with some of that, uh, some of that pork candy uh, seasoning that I have from uh, Running Wild Foods. Dude, I think it's going to, I think it's going to work. I mean, the chocolate's probably all going to melt out of there, but... Hey, uh, oh, hey, one thing I like to do is those uh, Mrs. Barrett bread 
uh, pastries, you know, those old school apple pies, peach pies, those ones that come in a little paper wrapper, uh, the honey buns. I like to get those and I wrap them in bacon and I cook them. Dude, I'm telling you, the peach pies are the best wrapped in bacon. Just fabulous. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Everybody's saying hi to each other. My goodness. Let me try to catch up. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I, I work I work a lot too. I do. Um, that's why like when I was in the competition, as soon as I found out what I had to cook, I did it like immediately. Any little min, every, any little few hours that I had extra, I, I, I took advantage of and I used them to do the cooks. Good for you, man. That's awesome. What did you make? Well, I should know. You were talking about it last night. What, didn't you make like, um, didn't you say something crazy like 12 um, pork butts, I think? I remember seeing something like that in my Instagram last night. Best in the business, man. He's really got to start charging people. Okay. Everybody saying hi to each other. Is is, uh, Joe still in here? Smoking Joe? Okay. Um... Let me know how to share it, man. Do I just grab it out of my browser and paste it into the comment box? Or is there a different way to do it? Damn. Whew. That's one hell of a cook, man. Good for you, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure, B Digits, man. It was a lot of fun. Okay, you guys are saying copy and paste. Are you talking about the link that's in my browser currently? Pasting that link into the chat? Oh, okay, sleeper, Lance. And under share, I'm under share, and it says slides, extra camera, video file, or share screen. Dude, you're cooking your ass off. I think it's about time for a cold beer for you. You get a cold beer. Let me see. Oh, the invite. Let's see. I gotcha. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, In there now. I see it. Yeah, the invite. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey man, it's my first time. I'll get you. I'll get you burnt. Let's see, brother Marcus, man, I can't let him hang him. There you go, brother. Yes, that's correct. I was gonna use uh, EV Mox, but I figured that everybody was more familiar with uh, Streamyard. So. Uh, moving forward, I think it's going to be EV Monks for me. Uh, it's very similar. It's just you get a lot more uh, options. I see you guys in the back. In the back, hang tight. Let me 
catch up on this real quick. Oh, shit. I'm on. <laughs> there is Mr. Mike Brown. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Hey, man. Sorry I jumped doing? in like that, man. I, I just I had this one scheduled, and I just wanted to kind of let you know that, that I was going to do it. Let's get Mr. Triple uh, B. Mr. Triple B, yeah, I, welcome. I totally welcome. forgot I mean, you were doing Dude, I night. see that Santa Maria hanging tight, looking crisp and clean back there. Damn, dude, that thing is beasty. Look at that. Yeah, I would so, really nice. like to get my hands on something like that. What did you cook anything in it yet? I just got it today. Dude, that thing is macking, man. That thing is bad. <laughs> yeah, my boy. Went, uh, pick, went and picked it up today, man. I, I, you know, I was gonna. I normally go live on Saturdays. I since he goes live on Fridays, but I'm not going to get a chance to go live today anyway. I figured I'd pop in real quick, man, say what's happening to everybody. Um, you know. Yeah. Um, there's my man, Marcus, Arizona. What's going on, Marcus? people? What's going on? Triple B. Uh, Mike Brown. What do you mean, man? Hey, B, uh, tough break on what happened recently, man. Um, it is what I it know, is, man. Dude, I know, I know how it is, though, bro. I, I, I have. Well... Maybe we'll talk behind the scenes. Yeah, but, you can hit uh, me. You can hit me up on IG. I'll give you my number, man. Yeah, uh, I had I had a similar situation with a car that, that was very dear to me, and it was just a long, long, long time yeah. ago. And I should have known better, man. Uh, I know how they do bikers out here. The bikers are so heavy down here, and. Uh, I, I should have known better to not have a copy of my shit in the house. I mean, but that's the first time I bought that bike in 2015. Is a 2012. That's the first time I've ever been pulled over. And the only yeah. reason why the only reason why I didn't run from his ass in the first place, there was a big ass squall right in front of me. I was about to run into, okay. and I was like, "Nope, I ain't doing it." So uh, you're a real big biker. Uh, when I was on my road trip earlier this week, I saw bikes everywhere. What the hell was going on up in that area? In what area? I went up to Montana. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I used when to be in the Sturgis. When is the Sturgis thing? I couldn't tell you. I've never been. I've never really had any want to go or anything like that. I do Daytona. I do Daytona and Panama City because it's it's close by, man. It's, okay. I can do a day trip to Panama City Beach. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. hang out for a few hours and then come back and be home. You know, still had a good time. You know what I mean? What uh, What are you planning on cooking on that beast back there for your first cook? Uh, I got some, I got some, uh, steak salt brining right now, and I might throw a chicken on there tomorrow. We're going to have lunch tomorrow. Nice. You going to do a video? I don't know. I might, I might just do it live. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. You, you know, I might, steak? yeah, I, I, I don't, I'll probably have it set up on my phone on a tripod or something. Um, and then maybe have everything going on my, uh, tablet that I'm using right now. So I can every now and then look back and catch comments and talk to people, but yeah, you know. There you go, Chuko. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't know that for a fact because I know Sturgis is up in the Dakotas, right, or in Iowa. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of assuming. Wow, well, I don't know where it's at. Um. So, Mr. Mike Brown. What's up, man, brother? I got the Yuling Oktoberfest. Oh, I ain't seen that one yet. Dude, I went to ATB just the other day, and I walked by this huge display, and I thought, man, I already have some. But then I looked again, and I saw the Oktoberfest label. I was like, oh shit, so I grabbed a couple. It's good. Pretty good? Really good. I'm going to try yeah. Yeah, Mark, like, what's up, brother? Mm -hmm. Don't get yeah. to see your face all that often, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, South Dakota. Yeah, Marcus, Dakota, Marcus is he's heavy in the he's heavy in the gram. Uh, he's he's on all the lives in, in the gram. Uh, we had we had a hell of a live last night, right? Yeah. I tell you, time. 
I tell y'all what, man. Uh, if y'all are part of uh, Dead Broke Bar- Barbecue Nation's uh, group on Facebook, oh, on Facebook, they go they go live on Saturdays on Facebook, man. It's these two guys, dude, and it is freaking hilarious. Yeah. You talk, you talk I like about the YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, huh? Yeah, I like Rice. No, I'm talking about his Facebook group. It's called uh, it's called uh, the Nation or something like that. Yeah, it's like barbecue uh dead broke barbecue nation it's a group and there's two guys that run that page man right i mean they pretty much took over that page for ricer and they're both up there man it is freaking hilarious on south i think they go live i think they're probably live right now but man that's it is so fucking hilarious excuse my language you know what i i'm still one of the only people on the planet that still don't have a facebook Oh really? Yeah, I just I just have the YouTube, a Twitch, and uh, Instagram. Yeah. Because I hear you. I hear you. Social media, man. It's a lot of work. Social media. Yeah, it yeah, is, it's, man. It's, it's a lot of work, man. man. Yeah. I'm hardly ever on there, man. I'm so tied up with everything else and YouTube, man. It's just. Uh, I'll post I'll post stuff on there when I upload a video or whatever, and I might get on there once or twice a day just to kind of see what my notifications are, and then after that I'm done. I'm just I'm yeah. Got yeah. other things to do. That's awesome. But, Web. That would be that would that's one of my bucket lists, man. Go to one of the places up Oktoberfest, Germany. Drink one of them huge be ass awesome. beers. It'd be awesome. Hell yeah! What do they call those uh those cups in Germany? I what do they call them? Uh, yeah, gallons. I think they just call I think they just call them pints. <laughs> no, it's like they, two they, gallons, isn't it? <laughs> they drink out of. Yeah, got, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, you talking about? It's called a, a Stein. They, yeah, Stein. They a got beer Stein. Stein. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got I got several of them. I got glass ones. Yeah, those are nice. <laughs> No, that's cool, man. Well, I can't stay on here long, man. My wife's about to come in with our food for dinner. I'm going to eat. Oh, yeah. And my daughter wants us to watch that new, uh, what is it, the orphan movie or something like that. It's supposed to be scary or whatever. Oh, okay. Um, so we're going we gonna to sit a, down. Got me a, got me a brand, new, brand new 80-inch TV I got sitting up above the fireplace. So we're about to oh, test man. it out. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Well, yeah, hey, lost man, my, enjoy that, man. I appreciate lost my bi- phone. Lost my bike and gained a big ass huge TV. I probably could have. I probably yeah. could have bought another bike for the price of that fucking TV. Oh, damn. <laughs> what brand? What brand of TV is that? Huh? What brand is it? What brand is it? It's a Samsung, but it's the. Uh, oh shit! There you go. That's all you had to say. That's yeah. all you had to say. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's the. It's the uh, what is it? The OLED. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, it's like one of their high classes, man. It's, yeah, yeah. It's not the picture frame, but it does have real thin bezels around it. It's just yeah, that's it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice, man. It's nice. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and do that. Get these fucking dogs from. They about to piss me off. They keep running up under the table and hitting my leg and getting me wet. They're doing the same yeah. thing to me over here. All my damn dogs. You know, if anybody looking for any dogs, let me know. I've got two I got to get rid of. No, thank you. I'm good. <laughs> uh-uh. I got enough dogs. But uh, yeah. y'all be good, man. Y'all have fun on here. And uh, Peace out, man. I'll catch y'all, yeah. I guess, some other time, man. I'll get back yeah, on. But I wanted hey, to hey, come show man. some love. Yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate you jumping on the, the very first ever uh, Trumpet Master 77 show. Appreciate that, man. And keep yeah. your head up, man. You'll find something else eventually. Just Yeah, I know. I'm right, not... now, right now, you're in the morning. You're in the morning phase. Yeah, it sucks. I'm, 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 I'm getting, I say I'm getting over it. I'm just trying to psych my head up. And, uh, me yeah. and Big Girl, me and Big Girl have been through a lot. Matter of fact, my video is dropping tomorrow and it has her in it. And I actually included my bike into this video. Yeah. So, it's well, I'll all... tell you, man, if, if this helps you get over it uh, easier, it happened for a reason. Yeah, that's what I said. You don't see it yet. That's what I said. I, I, said uh, I said, you know, I was talking to my cousin today when we were going to uh, Russ's house so I could pick this up. And uh, 
I was like, look, man, I said, you know, sometimes a door closes for a reason and it don't do no good to, to kick that door in and go in there because really it could have it could have saved me, man. I mean, it could have been the, the universe could have been saying, hey, look, you don't need this because you're about to kill yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, or you're going to get hit by a car or something's going to fucking happen. So I just, yeah. you know, I'm just trying maybe, to. Maybe it was just time. Maybe just time to move on. Yeah. And another thing, too, the only thing guaranteed in life is change. Yeah. So, so you'll be all right, man. Famous Trump. Yeah. Famous All right, y'all. Later. We'll, ho- we'll uh, holler at y'all, up, man. Mike. Yeah. Pat, uh, Chuko, go get that motherfucker a kiss, man. Lay down on top of it for a second. Maybe crank her up real quick. Make a little bit of love to her. Just kind of caress her a little bit on that tank. And you'll be good, man. Go do it. (laughs) Y'all be good, y'all. Later. All right, later, man. man. Careful, man. So how do you think it's going to look live, man? What's that? Your first life, how you feeling on YouTube? Uh, it's cool. I mean, uh, it's a little different because, you know, we're, uh, it's a, it, it's a little different because you know how it is on Instagram. Instagram's just kind of like on the fly. It's just like, you know, but yeah. here you've got like a, you know, different controls, different things that you got to pay attention to, the, you know, or like, you got more control in the chat on here. I, I really do like that. Uh, the, yeah. the chat on Instagram goes pretty fast. It's kind of hard to keep up with the chat on Instagram. But, yeah, um, we, I thought I had an app. Because then it takes your life. I'm like, yeah. So, yeah. That's my, but yeah, we had a great yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Instagram, I mean, the beer was flowing. We were camping on. Oh, had some good talks. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was a good time last night. Um Yeah, it was a good time last night. Um had a really good time. Uh talked about a lot of things. Um uh, <laughs> just you know, just being silly most of the time. But yeah. uh so what did you guys do today, man? Um Mike, did you do any cooks today? Anything? No, nope. I'm burnt out on barbecue for a little while. Taking a break. Good for you, bro. Good for you. Um, I, you know, I did Five a videos good ahead. Day. Yeah, that's good, man. That's awesome that you can do that. Sure. I guess we all could I've in been, a way. I've, you been, know? I've been working in the yard, brush hogging between rain and getting getting the farm squared away. Oh yeah. Are you at home right now? Yeah, I'm actually in my barn because it's been raining. I couldn't oh, do okay. it at the pit, yeah. so I'm in the barn. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, I, I thought I asked. Um, I thought I'd ask because, um, yeah, take care of P-Digits. Uh, I didn't see the 250-gallon smoker behind you, you know. Yeah, I was going to do it there, and then a thunderstorm popped up, hung around for a while, so... I just decided to come in my barn. Okay. I don't do them in the I'm, house. I got a lot of kids. They're loud. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Mike, how many acres you got out there? Ten acres. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hadn't cut yeah. grass in a long time enough. I was bogging that tractor down. It's high. Call Bear. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Eric? The man with the call bears. What's going on? The man on? with the call bears. Call Bear. What did I miss? We're all yeah. having a heart to heart with uh, Triple B. Yeah. I thought we. Uh... Yeah, he was. He, he's having a hard time. He just lost his bike. He's That's been crazy. attached to it for years, for a long time. 2015. Yeah, I don't think I've ever owned a vehicle that many years, man. I, I'm just a wheel and dealer, man. I'm, I'm on to the next one in, the, in three years, you know? I don't, even, I don't even hang on to my wife that long. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, well, you got to stick to that one. You got to stick to that one, and then 
you know, during the week, you, you get a bunch of other ones and stuff on the weekends, you know? Yeah, you buy that muscle car, you know, that you take out on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> or, or your barbecue pit, you know? Yeah. That's Smokers. True. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I got to yesterday, man. I woke up droggy as hell today. I was like... I, I laid down, I took my daughter to the store and came back and laid back down and then got up a little while ago and like, fuck it, let's get a beer and get back on the live and see if we can <laughs> did yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Shit, I got up this morning. I had a knock about 8 o'clock. My, part, my business partner was here and, hey, let's get going. I was like, oh, that was rough. But yeah. I was on the tractor most of the day, even though you got, it was ace close cab but still that tractor wears your ass out yeah hey man but you gotta I'm have that second, close man. Cab. i've been on tractor all day too yeah. <laughs> you know I, i'm I all about that close, close cab. cab yeah i'm all about that close cab but not for what you would think uh, it's not it's not the fact that oh shit it's really hot and i need ac and i need that closed cab it's if i'm out here in the wide open you know field uh doing something in the land with my tractor, I would much rather have a, uh, let's see what happened here. I would much rather have a cab to protect me from a swarm of bees. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You always gotta, you always yeah, gotta be careful about that shit, man. Sucks. You out there in the country, take, dude, I'll take a bottle, I'll take a can of WD-40 with me everywhere. If I'm in the country, if I'm out in the ranch, I got, I'll, t- I'll take a bottle of uh, uh, WD-40 with me. Just in case you run into some bees, just spray that shit on yourself or on the bees. That shit, that shit will go away. Uh, otherwise, they're I gonna ain't never running no bees, but I run into the guinea wasp. Them guinea wasps shit, they, beat your ass. They damn near killed my brother a couple of years back. Um, he was he was doing just a good they deed at, at one of the neighbor's houses out there and on his bobcat. And he came across a stump. And uh, nobody knew that there was a fucking, you know, beehive in it. And, you know, that's what it was. He came across that stump. He was, he hit it. And, you know, immediately they started swarming his ass. So he took off in the bobcat. <laughs> and we know that's just like running speed, right? And he's hauling ass down the road. He stops at the top of the street. And he's running down the driveway of my parents' place. And my dad sees him out there running visibly like, you know, getting fucked up by all these bees. And damn. Uh, that sucks. So it was crazy because my brother was running and he had his, he had take, dude, he took off his shirt and put it around his face. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. But then again, you got all those extra things on your back, right? And uh, Oof. he runs past my dad. My dad trips him and kicks him onto the ground. And the bees go like this to my dad. I'm like, here's my dad. And the bees go like this over my dad and attack my brother like they had oh yeah once they get him. yeah once they get locked on them bees they'll, they're, locked, yeah, on, they're boy, locked on they were they were right there killing him man and my dad was whooping his ass with like you know a shirt and a, and a belt and he got Damn. gasoline and he just started just gouging my brother with it and it got the bees off of him eventually with gasoline but the damage had been done they, they got him so damn bad, like he he was having issues breathing, and man. so they ran his ass. Um, they ran his ass to the emergency room, and now he has to carry those epipens with him anywhere he goes because he's to this point, one bee sting today can kill him now. Yeah, one bee sting. Damn. Yeah. So he got like overloaded with whatever it is that they injected in him. I mean, they he he came out with like hundreds of of bee stings. It's crazy, man. Yeah, it's definitely not a good burger. Yeah. What is the WD-40 do? What's that? I've never heard of that. What does the WD-40 do for the bees? It'll kill them. It, just, I'm, it kills them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought yeah, it, was more- it kills them. You got to have something like that with you. Um, uh, I guess not so much in the wintertime. You're not going to run into any kind of those issues in the wintertime. But if you're on a hunt or something like that, and I think uh, uh, 
and metal metal right here eric can can uh attest to that but like yeah, if it's need... in the summertime and you're out there trying to get a hog a wild hog you better take something you better think about that kind of shit man because the, mm-hmm. the danger is real and it's yeah. just crazy out there man. yeah especially like whenever that that uh the time the temperature's changing where they're all trying to find a place to like get warm and you go yeah. into a blind at in the middle of the morning when it's dark and then the daylight starts coming you look up and they're all bunched up in the corner of the deer stand you're in and like <laughs> but we leave a like on all our deer stands we leave a we before we even get started with that stuff we'll go put a wall spray in all the blinds that yeah. way we'll kill them out first and then if the clients have some whenever they go in there they'll have a they'll have spray in there when they get when they're in there yeah yeah a lot of people don't think about those insects that'll just swarm and just take you out i mean they will take you out there was a mm-hmm. Uh, just like I think it was like six months ago, there was this guy that that got swarmed over here in Austin, and it straight up killed him. He was working. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was doing utility work. It was a utility pole, and they got up there, up you know, on one of those trucks with the buckets, and he was trimming a tree away from one of the power lines, and the tree actually had a hive in it. They fucked him up. They killed him. Damn. They freaking killed them. The bees. Yeah, it's crazy. And I got I got stung. I got stung a couple of months ago. The swelling ain't still gone down since like ten years ago. <laughs> it just don't go away. It's just natural swelled up. Stayed that way. Just like all around. Just, just the like whole thing. <laughs> just fucking. It's like a ten year yeah. reaction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, a, the doc said I just need to get away from the table. I don't know. He said it might work. Yeah, yeah. You've been hanging around the table too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shitload of bees get you, son. Damn it. Yeah, for sure, man. It's dangerous. <laughs> the table is too. Yeah, yeah, man. Bees ain't no joke. It's from the um, chase, James. And they finally got out this way and went to the neighbor's property. Let it in or what? All right. He said yeah, it was a black bug, though. Japanese, Japanese killer bees. Damn. I've never heard of them. Before. If it is, call me and I'll get another truck and we'll Maryland. push it in. Yeah, keep them over there, Lance. <laughs> yeah, we don't need them here. Shit. Got enough damn bees in Texas. Yeah, we do. Uh, that's what I was going to say, Mike. We've got all not, not only bees, bees you got wasps, you got guinea wasps, you got bees, you got all kind of shit here to get you. Yes, yeah. my my backyard right now is filled with those damn little yellow jackets, the little ones along the privacy fence. Yeah, yellow jackets suck too. Oh man. shit, dude! And they get sneaky too. It's like I was undoing my water hose in the back just the other day, and I saw one, and I kind of looked up under there, and it's let's just say it's a good thing I didn't undo, unravel my water hose the entire time because they. They have this huge nest about this big, like right up under there, and you can't see because the water hose is like right over it. Like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> the last time I was brush hogging my pasture, I ran into some of them yellow jackets out there on the fence line. Got stung about four times in the back. Shit hurt. They yeah, that shit don't feel good. <laughs> you really got to look out for them triple Bs. <laughs> <laughs> The only killer bees are like Jumping Jim, Brunzel and Bee. Yeah. Yeah, man. The bees is a real danger. So, uh, so what's up, Eric, man? What'd you do? Just till the land today and just knock it all down? Yeah, well, we do. uh, So, I'm working on the sunflower fields that I've got going on, natural sunflower for dove season. So, what I end up doing, like, once we get getting close to season, them sunflowers start to head out. And I'll mm-hmm. shred them because they drop that. They drop the seed when you, whenever you diss them, you plow them. They drop the seed, and the birds like to eat that. Okay. But it's not baiting because it's natural forage. So the you sunflowers that you're dealing with, are they, for yeah, the right. sunflowers that you're dealing with, are they the Central Texas style, smaller style sunflower? Yeah, real little, big. No, no, right these there. are these little ones and small. Yeah, okay, I got you. I, got you. Um, no. I was in um, the way back from Colorado. We, I, I've got a video that I can share with you guys. Um, 
acres and acres of those big, big uh, sunflowers. I mean, they're yeah, there's nasty. a place down. Yeah, there's a place down here who, ha who the guy plants those big sunflowers, and he takes away a lot of our bird activity. But it is what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, we just do that, and like I said, we knock. I'll, I'll do a couple of strips, and then as we get closer to the season, a couple more strips to knock down some of that seed down, so then birds could stay in there and eat that seed as we're going through the through the season. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, on the way up there, I, I forgot to mention this earlier. There was uh, we're in Colorado, and there was these huge ant piles, like on the distance. You could see these huge ant piles. It's like, damn, look at all those damn ant piles. That's crazy. Like, just out there in the country. And then we, we kept driving, right? It was just miles of it. And it was, uh, next thing you know, you saw this little damn animal that looked like a squirrel. It was groundhog. Groundhog. Just all mm -hmm. over the place. It was cool. They were out there just chilling. It was awesome. Yeah. The, weather, the, the ranchers don't think it's awesome. Yeah, I, I hear their pain. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. We don't have them in Southeast Texas. We don't either. Uh, Lance, yeah, we can use them. Uh, we didn't plant any this year. Um, the cows get to them a lot faster by the time they sprout out. Seems like these mm -hmm. natural sunflowers, the cows don't touch them when they're growing. But you put some of them big ones, when they get about this big, them cows are going. Sweep them out. But the natural sunflowers, they don't. They seem not to, I guess, the way they're bitter or something. I don't know. Yeah. I they saw, like um, it. it's funny you talk about the sunflowers. I saw this video, the way they get harvested. Um, cause obviously the seeds get to dry out before they can get harvested mm. and they're walking through this field. A couple of Mexicans, you know, they've got those, uh, those, uh, uh, curved machetes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. The, the, the green, curve. The green Reaper. Exactly, exactly. Teddy. But the handheld ones, not the staff ones, but the handheld ones. And they're walking through there, through the field. And what they're doing, like, picture the, the flowers right here, right? And they, they swing it and they cut it, like, that much of the stem, right? Like, they cut, like, that much of the stem completely off. They, they have, they're holding the flower and they cut it off, right? And then they cut the rest of the stem off closer to the flower. And then they take that flower and they stick it onto the uh the stem that's left hanging out of the ground and they keep making their way through the entire field it was just amazing man i was like wow dude look at that kind of work that they, these guys are doing like just you can just watch yeah. that for hours and you're like, oh shit. you know they got a system yeah. it's like we all used to do when we were kids we had a machete we got there just killing shit with it you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the trees i get i get all i get a and all that I've get I've seen that one too, but where that guy does that pine the uh, those pine trees or the Christmas trees with that long old yeah freaking uh what's it uh, it's like a sword I guess and they're trimming them trees and they make them all badass it's like yeah freaking mm -hmm. awesome like pine trees or Christmas trees or some shit like that yeah it looks like a samurai sword there you go yeah, yeah. evergreen trees yeah on the Christmas tree farms yeah. Hey, Louie, how was the weather on your trip? It was good, man. Uh, I, like I said, the only time we ran into issues was on the way back. Um, uh, that's when we ran into some pretty nasty weather. And um, and we were just like, we we're lucky that that we didn't get slammed by all that, all that hell that, that, um, that we saw coming up on that hill. Because we came up on that hill yeah. Wyoming on the way back. Everything was white. Everything was white. It looked like a snowstorm had blown in. As far as you could see. Cars were on the side of the road. Busted windows. Mirrors hanging off. Oh, destroyed. Man, yeah. Destroyed. And I was like, holy shit. Motorcycle people just out there just like looking for shit, you know? I don't know what the hell they were looking for. But, man, dude, they got plastered. They got a hammer. They probably wiped out. Yeah, and, it, and we drove just, you know, just yeah. a couple of hundred feet through that. And then it was clear after that. I was like, damn, 
so the, you know there was another big storm system that was going to roll through there and it was headed toward colorado and based on the speed that i was driving uh i wanted to get to denver on the way back and stay in denver but we ended up staying at fort i want to say it was fort collins maybe colorado it was fort something uh because if i if i would have tried to make it to denver we would have been caught up in another storm and i didn't want to do that so we stayed there on the way back nice little town clean town very like freshly developed places to eat all that kind of stuff Fellas, I'm going to jump off real quick. If y'all are still on when I get back, I just got a call. We got some animals in the highway. Hopefully, they're not ours. And if they are ours, I got to go find a hole in the fence. Oh. All so. right, bro. All right. Have a good hey, one, congrats, on your, congrats on your first live, get brother. Y'all are still on, or I'll follow y'all up on Instagram here a little later. But Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, man. Yeah, for I'm sure. A, now I got to put on my cowboy hat now and my rope. So. Yeah. And I'll hit you up on, on, on the DM. Get your on horse and rope. If, if you want my cell phone, man, I'll, I'll, I'll get that out to you. All right, cool. All right, bro. Hey. All right, later. Later, Rick. Uh, so, speaking of that, so, you know, I've got this 500-gallon uh, tank sitting over at my brother's place that I got to do something with. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we're going we're gonna to have to see when, when the timing's right, Mr. Mike Brown, because I want myself one of them MB custom-made Smokers. Yeah, I'll buy a know. bunch of this and I'll give you some money too. Browns and use it as a firebox. <laughs> 500 got me out. He's got some big ass firebox. I got this eight foot firebox right here, guys. Oh, shit. I seen a dead gum meme on Facebook the other day when they were making fun of people with big fireboxes that said, You, you, you ain't putting logs in that shit. You're putting trees in it. You're like, Okay, we're going to try to fit this tree in there. <laughs> We're gonna put half a quarter of wood in here, and uh, this will last us for six hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, my God! I, I've you... never seen those, Stephen. I'd like to see those. I think my wife would like that. Pink sunflowers. Pink. Sunflowers? Send me a picture of that, man. That'd be awesome to see. <laughs> Damn, Lance. Lance, the link's in there if you got if you want to jump in and, and chat, man. If you want to be get part on, of this man. groundbreaking history history making uh, live session. This is historical. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was hoping yeah, uh, Joe was still in here. I wanted to talk to Joe. Uh, I saw a video where he was packing up his his. Uh, his current work station uh, uh, office after being there for like 20 years and uh, mm-hmm. it, I think it's probably hitting him it's, it's probably a pretty sad thing for him you know um, I wanted to talk to him about that I don't think he's in here anymore <coughs> yeah he posted it on Instagram I'm sorry TikTok and then I reposted it on Instagram and uh as i mean even like i could tell that kind of stuff it, it's emotional man like you could tell it was emotional for him well um, that's the whole thing too it's like uh you work somewhere for so long and then all of a sudden it's over and your life changes yeah yeah you gotta you gotta be prepared for your life to change yeah and that's what it is you know but that's like, um, uh one thing in life you have to expect is is change and so oh, I, I i tell people we're born to die too yeah queen you know yeah yeah so. yeah we all gonna die one day well that's depressing shit to talk about <laughs> come on no shit huh <laughs> i want to talk about we want to talk about happy things um, living a long youthful life I hope Being we all happy. gain immortality. Yeah, yeah. If you guys you like me, of- man, I, I was I, I I turned I'm, I was a vampire back in '83, I think it was. It was right after uh, Rocky Three came out, and I and that's when I was converted. Uh, I've been the same age ever since. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, Not me. I mean, 
unfortunately, it runs in the family. I'm 47, so, but I mean, it's not even salt and pepper anymore. It's just salt. So. Salt. <laughs> so I guess I'm the youngest one here. I'm only 30. It's kosher. Yeah. It's kosher. No, no it's all good. <laughs> Uh, Mike, the Jungling uh, Oktoberfest, really good beer. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna look for it. Very good. <laughs> that Jungling's done. Uh, it's done turning my go-to beer. That's an odd drink now. Same. Um, this Oktoberfest, for me, it tastes better than the regular stuff. What is it? Has it got like some pumpkin in it or something, or, or what? Look at that. It's amazing. That, that's amazing. What's that, man? Pumpkin? So what, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it has in it, but it's really good stuff. It's just a really, really good beer. But you know that oh, yeah. Oktoberfest is it's seasonal. It should have go bad on you, you know? Oh. Yeah. Somebody is in their shot. That sounds like my videos on, on YouTube. Used to, I always got boosted to in the background of my videos. What's that? The rooster? Music playing? No, the rooster. Oh, you're that... talking about... That's me. Is that you? Yeah, I got them chickens around here. My rooster's crowing. Yeah. yeah, when I make... If you listen to a couple... Or if you watch a couple of my YouTube videos, you'll see the rooster. You hear the roosters, too. I've got a dadgum rooster that every time I film a YouTube video, he'll come stand right beside me, my big white rooster, and he will crow and crow and crow. And I'm like, go on, you annoying bastard, you. You, gotta yeah. cook. you, should, you should make a video of cooking his ass. Just get his ass. <laughs> I've thought Don't about it. Cooking. Bastard. Make him part of the video. At the very beginning... At the very beginning of that live stream I just did, my little bandy rooster flew up on the gate behind me and was sitting back there crowing while I was trying to talk. It's like, you little bastard. <laughs> yeah, there's, I see one right now on my window. Yeah. yeah, Stephen, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know if it'll focus, but it's amazing. And I've never seen a pink sunflower, but Stephen sent me one. He sent me a picture of one. It's oh, just amazing. Cool. It's wow. same thing, but pink. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, so when you guys yeah. make your videos, do you guys use um, like TubeBuddy or VidIQ or anything like that? Will you do what now? When you make do your what? YouTube video, you come up with like titles and tags. Do you guys use TubeBuddy or like VidIQ? No. no. I, I ain't never even heard of that. No, I, I do know what YouTube buddy is. I just recently found out about that, but no, I don't use it. What's that? Uh, it's supposed well, to help you with the algorithm and stuff like that, I believe. They have a free version for your phones and your computers, but you could upgrade and they have this AI that helps you create um, like your titles, um, tags for your videos. Like you know how you do tags, hashtags for... Mm -hmm. Instagram, and then there's um, there's another place where you can put just like regular tags, you know, and part of the video kind of yeah. helps select what uh, thumbnail to pick, you know. Interesting. Yeah, I've never I've never heard of that. Me neither. Yeah. I always do my own thumbnails and my own tags and all that. Yeah, for sure. Everything's off my phone, even the editing uploading it and i have to sit there and make sure the screen screen to make sure it doesn't turn off so if it because if it turns off it won't finish uploading but once uh i get situated after this uh situation i'm going through i want to get me a, a desktop and kind of go go more into it get me a camera and stuff but mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's awesome yeah hey you'll get through it cool. man hang in there Thanks, You'll be man. all right. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're dropping off, man. I've got 11 people still hanging on. Um, I had, a, I think, 20 there for a while. It was holding strong at 20. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
I wonder if it counts us for for being in the live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. Does it? Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know all that. Uh, yeah, you got it, sleeper. You got a lens. Get a rinse. Matter of fact, where's John? I was gonna get him on too. John, you still in here? Uh, who is that? Hey, those duck races was they were pretty cool yesterday, man. <laughs> was that was that different? That was yeah, that's a lot a of fun. Race. Yeah. So. So we gave away like four bottles. Hey, uh, by the way, Mike, your uh, your stream is a lot more clear now. You've been pixelated ever since you jumped on, but now you're clear. You look yeah. really good now. Yeah, there was a dead gum uh, storm over. It was probably screwing my uh, life. Yeah, up. that's probably what it was. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we gave away like four bottles of rub yesterday on my Instagram, and um, you know how you have uh, like the circle of names that you can just the computer just kind of. You can put all your names in there and click spin and and the computer will just generate an automatic winner it'll stop on somebody well yeah. this is the same deal it's just you plug everybody's name in there and uh every name is assigned to uh, a rubber ducky like a rubber ducky so all of a sudden it's rubber ducky races and the computer and you can set how long you want the race to be right uh 30 seconds a minute five minutes or whatever so the entire time these duckies are just racing and they're just passing each other up right and it's just like if you're the viewer and and you're watching it it's just really exciting to see like who's gonna win and then some you know get a real fast start and then they just lag behind and another one just <laughs> passing that one it's just a lot of fun and we did that. It was like four different times last night, right, Marcus? Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I almost won. I wanted to do something like that tonight, you know, being it was my first, my first live. But I wanted Carl to be part of that because, um, you know, he he's the one uh, pushing the product, and I just wanted him to do it here. But um, he he had some other things that he had planned. But, uh, but I think we could probably do that next Saturday. So the plan from here on out moving forward is every Saturday from 6 to 7, I'd like to jump on my YouTube because it's honestly the only time I have. I don't I don't have time during the week to do it like uh, uh, Rick does his Monday nights. Uh, if it's a work night for me, I, I can't do it, man. I, I'll jump in the chat and I'll comment for a little bit, but I can't. I can't be face to face with anybody um, on a work night, and that that includes Sunday nights. Like, uh, 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 oh hey, Lance and John, they they do that Sunday night thing, and sometimes they keep it going, dude. They keep it going for like five or six hours. Sometimes I don't know how they do that. Like I don't know, I don't either. Uh, but yeah, there's no way I could do anything like that. Anything like that's not going to happen for me during a work week. Um, I wake up early. I wake up four, anywhere between four and five. I'm up in the shower, getting ready for work, uh, making my coffee, making my lunch, and I head out the door. Right. Um, so I, I, you know, the older I get, the more I'm seeing that I'm understanding that my body needs rest. Right. Yeah. It's not like when I was a youngster and I could just like stay up all night. And, have like zero you know two to zero hours of sleep and and just perform like i slept eight hours it's not like that man i need my eight hours at least um so really i'm i'm in bed by nine honestly nine nine thirty i'm just you know turn on a movie and it's just like that's my night night medicine i can't mm -hmm. i can't stay up um like I used to. I just can't do that. I appreciate that, Steven. I really do. I don't know how many thumbs up I've had, but I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, but... 27. Though. That's not too bad. For my first one. <laughs> That's good, man. You're doing, you're doing damn good. Uh, Are you going to leave these so, up, Luke? 
Yeah, so I I, I want to, like I said, I want to be consistent, and I just want to just schedule them on Saturdays from 6 to 7. If there's nothing going on in my personal life that, that would take me out from doing that, uh, that's kind of what I want to do. And if it's not from 6, maybe from 7 to 8, you know, instead of 6 to 7. But definitely on Saturdays. That's the only day that works for me in my schedule. Um, that's that's the only thing that works for me currently. But uh, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy putting my face out there. You guys probably still won't see my face in my videos. But uh, but you'll see my face on my lives, on my IGs. Um, but, you know, I've, I've got some things coming up that I wish I could talk about right now. But I, but I can't right now. Uh, but but it's it's really good, fun, exciting, big things coming, and um, I just want to share it with all you guys, you know. Yeah. So, man. so you know, I'm here. Uh, I enjoy this shit. You know, I, I think it's a lot of fun. Again, Mike, I I didn't want to. I didn't want to jump on it. I saw that you were live. I was like, oh shit, man. Well, I, I normally go on Fridays, but I had to work 16 hours, so I didn't get home from work till like 9, 30, 10 o'clock yesterday, so yeah. I didn't do a live Friday night. And, and so, like, I scheduled it from 6 to 7, because I also know that uh, if Triple B goes live, you might do it on a Saturday at 8, right? From 8 to whatever. Yeah. And so, like, you know what? I think 6 to 7 will work. And uh, let me schedule it. Let me, tr let me do it. Let me see. If anybody jumps in, cool. <laughs> if nobody jumps on... Well, that's okay too. At least I tried, right? Yeah, um, I actually it looks uh, like there was a reached pretty good out. Turnout. What's up? I said I actually reached out to Mike and asked him when he was going live that way I can do mine before he did his. So I didn't want to step on his toes. Yeah, I, I don't want to do any of that. Um, but I think that there's a lot of YouTube out there, a lot of YouTube hours for everybody, and um, and I think it'll work out. You know, I think there's plenty yeah, of time out there. Will. I think there's plenty of time out there. I'm not here to take anybody's time away from anybody else. Um, I just kind of wanted to, hey, if I'm going to start doing it, they're going to start doing it, you know. And what works for me, Saturdays work for me. That's that's just what it is. But uh, but yeah, man, a lot of fun, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. Hey, Louie, do you plan on keeping these up lot or like? Part of your video or are you gonna just like put them in private these uh live uh i don't know um what do you what do you suggest i mean i i don't know i mean i'll keep them up it doesn't matter no oh, no man. you need to publish it you need to publish it because it'll count toward your watch hours okay okay so yeah, publish it. there don't, you go and that's what it. i'll do so when i end the broadcast of uh, how do i go about doing that like it should I'll do go... it automatically for you okay okay yeah, because I set it up it. when when I scheduled it, it was almost like setting up a video backwards. You know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. like I was doing all the tags, I was doing the 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 description, I was doing all that. The only thing that was missing was the actual video. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I mean, I'll see what happens. I'll see. I'll I'll keep it out there. Yeah, that's cool, man. I didn't know if it counted towards your watch time either, but if they, if, I mean, that's cool that it does. So that's what I hear. I hear it's good with the uh, the watch hours. Yeah, but I heard that recently from John. That's all paper fire because I got a notification saying that he had gone live, and I was like, "What the hell? I didn't get that notification." So I messaged him. I was like, "Yo, you went live?" He's like, "No, no, no, no. I'm just posting previous lives to get the watch hours." Oh, that's what he had mentioned. Yeah. So I think, I think he was putting them on private, and uh, uh, yeah, eventually he he put uh, put them on uh, public to to gain the watch hours. Okay. What it was. Yeah, right so it, it shows that mine uh, was published after I got off. As long as you've got that in your setting in your YouTube studio. 
Yeah, I think I have it set that way. I went into the YouTube studio and I, and I messed around with a few things. And I'll try that because, like, here on the stream yard, it's got that little button on the top right that says end broadcast. And I'm assuming when, when I click that, everything stops. And then from there, I'll just go to my studio and see if that's even available, see if it's public, see if it's private, see what happens. You know, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with it. Yeah. You know? it'll, it'll show you up there on your live stream. You can go to the analytics of the video, and then you can go. And w- once you do it on yard stream, you'll have to go back and check the no box for uh, it's not for kids and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. then uh, on the customization, it'll give you a, a, a option for live and replay, and you'll click that box, and then it'll publish it for you. Okay. Because these and lives, that's... you've been on here for two hours and you had 25 people on here, you can get a lot of watch hours off of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that, man. I'll, I'll try to do you. that. Um, I think um, I'll do that. And that's that's in my um, that's in my settings, right? On on YouTube. I'll go in there and manipulate all that in, in my studio after go I end to, the broadcast. Yeah, go to the studio. And you'll see, you'll see your live stream. You'll click on it and then hit the details button and you'll, hit, you know, okay. go to video yeah. analytics and stuff like that. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, that sounds, that sounds cool. Um, so does the, the live watchers that we're viewing, is, does that count as the hours too? Yep. Oh, man. That's good. All, yeah, I, th- I think I think it gains everybody's uh, time. It so there, it there's some guys that once they get monetized, they go live all the time, and that's how they get their watch hours. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's good to know. That's really good to know. That's uh, but I think 500 subscribers is required, correct? A thousand to get monetized. A thousand. You get your a community thousand? page at 500. That's oh, 500 gets you the community. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. And then you can from, from the community page, ask questions. What, like, what kind of video should I do next? I, I haven't even got five yet, but I see how they're, they're using it on YouTube just by being on YouTube, you know. It's, it's pretty cool. So... Yeah. yeah, you got to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long way away. Where are you at with that, Mike? Are you are you pretty close to that? Or... I'm at 3,200 3, watch hours, and I'm at 533 subscribers. 3,200 watch hours. Wow. 3,200. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. That's now, real- somebody told me that somebody told me, well, I heard that you could gain watch hours just by letting your videos play in the background. Is that true? You, yeah, you you can't. I mean, I don't know if it works on your own personal computer, but say you're, you're, you're at work. You can let your videos play in the background like I let a playlist go. You ain't going to say I didn't or didn't or do that. But, you know, yeah, you can do it. But watch times, but watch wouldn't it, times. Wouldn't you have to clear? It. Wouldn't you have to clear like all cookies and shit before you could do it again on the same workstation? Nah. No? So uh, I I experimented with it uh, at work one day and clicked on this video. Was watching it in my YouTube studio, and after I got done watching it, I got out of it and got back in the same video and clicked it again, and the and the and the view went up on it. Oh, okay. So it, it does work. Yeah. But you know, like these browsers, like these browsers. I just don't know if it works up. off your own personal computer, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, because you can open up several different browsers on on your uh, browser, on your internet browser. Yeah. And uh, say you open up five different ones, and you're playing yeah. your videos on loop on each one of those. I wonder if that would work. Mm. I don't know. S.J. Cook. Yeah, I remember S.J. Cook says he likes to uh, open up people's playlists and just let it play while he's cooking or or he's doing whatever. So that was pretty cool. I'll, of him. Do, I'll do that for yeah. people too when I'm at See, work. like right I'll here, what Judge, what Judge Webb is talking about right here. Sometimes when he's at work, he'll have three or more tabs open and just let the playlist run. 
Mm -hmm. okay. And that gains your watch hours right there. It'll help. I'll do that shit tonight if from home. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll open up It'll like help. ten different tabs and play them. Views are views and watch hours are watch hours. It don't matter how you get them. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's if you're signed in, does that count? You know what I, mean? I, saw, I I really couldn't answer that. So I will tell you this. It does. The views do go up because when I upload shorts or videos, I'll go back before they ever hit and I'll watch them. And then while they're waiting for the day to drop, I'll notice they have one view on them already. And that's where I viewed them before they uh, were published. So maybe it does. Uh, not to watch your own videos when you're signed in. He was He did the... He was up, up against uh, Triple B in the first round. Dang it! Oh, uh, it that? was uh, uh, Mike G, wasn't it? Or Biggs? It was Biggs, wasn't it? Yeah, barbecuing with Biggs. He said, "Don't don't watch yeah, the video." Biggs. He had mentioned that. That guy gave a lot of information. He said we had one of the highest paid uh, niches on YouTube, nine to twelve, nine to twelve dollars per thousand views. If I remember right, when we were having a chat, we had that group chat going that uh, Smoking Joe got created for the contenders or the participants in the the competition. Yeah, yeah, he gave a lot of good information. Barbecue with Biggs. So. Yeah, there's there's some of them YouTubers that make bank that got the hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Yeah, for barbecue. Does, yeah, the, yeah, those guys, those guys there are special. They just like. Come yeah. on, everybody. Let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. <laughs> or, or here, here's what gets me. Here's what gets me is the I, I boy, the whole seasonings or the, uh, or the, or, my you know. My friends the, say he was good. And let's do it. Yeah. Or no, the, yeah. Uh, what gets you? Or they figured out the perfect Texas brisket finally, man. That's that's a big one Come out on, there man. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody clicks on that shit. They're like, I, I know. I know. Like, I'm is. from Texas <laughs> and I cook brisket all the fucking time. Yeah, I know. I, and I ain't, and I ain't saying no names, but then you see that one dude did something like this. I've cooked a hundred briskets, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I believe is the right spice and combination <laughs> and temp <laughs> to use. I, I know exactly who you're fucking talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know that, on gonna... the te on the perfect te <laughs> Texas brisket. Now, a lot of people will say that this smoker behind me. That's a Franklin smoker. You know, dude, that dude needs to get off of Franklin's nuts for one. Come on, man. That's enough. Stop dangling uh, off he, that nut hey, pack, man. Hey, he ain't I'm on not, Franklin's nuts no I, more. Now he's on Gobi's nuts, man. Golly, man. He done jumped that bandwagon. That's a, that's just like, come on, dude. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a, that, that man, look, we can't knock him because he's got over 500,000 subscribers and he gets yeah. all the views, man. Oh yeah, but, for uh, sure. He, he knows but how to play like, to uh, it. I'll give him that. I, I can tell you what, man. Those guys are using somebody that, don't already know. They're using TubeBuddy and they're using VidIQs, and you got to do like even on Google Trends, you got to try to incorporate a, a trending word and put it somehow yep. in your title. These guys, I Look mean, they're the trucker, not the, peanut trucker. Yeah, these guys are are putting in. And it's a subscription you have to pay for too, buddy. They have a free a free version, but I mean, be right back. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there like that. Um, yeah, it's uh, everybody. I think that I think that everybody gets blinded. Everybody's a little blind uh, when they go to these big channels like that mm -hmm. uh, because they're looking for the secrets to the perfect cook because yeah. i think deep down inside everybody wants to cook the perfect meal that's just gonna blow everybody away like that's just gonna shut everything down and mm -hmm. i think that's why people really gravitate to you know um these other big channels uh for that reason right because they want to they want to be able to to cook something that's just going to blow everything else out the water. Like, wow, yeah. this was it. This was it. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know you had to use mustard as a binder. 
you know i didn't know you had to use mayonnaise as a binder you know that kind of stuff uh yeah i don't know if you use no binder ever yeah. yeah i uh my rib cook that i did today i didn't use any binder i mean ribs dude baby back ribs are tacky as it is you guys know that i mean there's no need if to put a piece of meat on. is a little bit dry just hit it with a little bit of water that's all you gotta yep. do yeah yep that's yeah you, do. Uh, do you guys yeah. have any videos that have the how-to in front of them how to i do yeah those ones that one did pretty good for me on on ribs uh on the pk grill um i have a short that i i don't know you it's weird you gotta try to figure out the title the how to's the or or the the best the easiest recipe incorporate the word recipe in the in the title and then everything that you put in the title you got to put in the description of the cook you know and so there's a lot of stuff that i've i've learned um i i watch a lot of these Thank uh, you, Chris. Who is it? VidIQ is on YouTube. I uh, think media. I like to watch think media. They give you like what kind of equipment to buy, how to edit on your iPhone. Sure. I I Thanks. Uh, got good. Uh, they got good content. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So they, I mean, what apps to use, you know, what are free apps, what, what free apps you can use to edit, you know, create thumbnails, all that stuff. So the and how to videos do good because that's the first thing somebody types in the search bars, how to do this, how to do that, how to do this. And that's why those are so successful. Yeah. You gotta, they tell you that, uh, everything's about a question on YouTube. It's how you answer that question. Whoever's trying to find that, that, or who's asking that question, how to change brakes, how to, how to barbecue, right? So Malcolm Reed got that game on lock, you know, um, so, oh, yeah, man, I did. I, I do. I, I watched his videos like way back in the day when he was doing them, like in his in his house on his little kitchen table, right there. He was like, "I'm a, I'm here to tell you, we gonna cook these ribs on this Jitter YS640. This damn cooker right here, I cook them just just right. I'll tell you, it is money. But yeah. you know, he's got a hell of a lot more personality these days. It's like because he's got no more worries, like uh -huh. at all. But let's keep cooking, y'all. Yeah, he's uh, I, I like watching his videos still. He's he's kind of cool. He's got yeah, that nice backyard to do it in. But man, some of the stuff he cooks and eats, I'm like, dude, dude no, <laughs> you cook it, but don't eat that, dude. <laughs> no. But you know, he has some. He, uh, he gets the he views, can... man. I'm yeah. cautious about that kind of shit, man, because I, you know. Yeah. He has but, over um, a million subscribers, bro. Malcolm yeah. Reed is yep. probably he does the top dog in, in barbecue YouTube, I believe. Yeah, yeah but so. you gotta also understand, like okay. when when you get up that high, I don't really, I don't really think you have to be as active in in posting new content um, when you get yeah. up that high. There's no reason for that. Um, people are gonna stay latched on to you. They're not gonna unsubscribe. He's a heavy you. hitter. Yeah, and yep. you know that would. I, I that's just the way that I see it. Unless he's got other, you know, commitments that he has to, you know, feel that he has to stay active. You know, it's like, dude, you can get away with putting a video out there every two or three weeks now. You know. Yeah. Well, he has. Uh, a everybody's gonna be waiting for it. You know. I believe uh, he has. A he's got rubs. He's got barbecue sauce. He's got all kind of stuff, man. Yeah, he's and got he, everything. Um, I he mean, I, YouTube's just icing on the cake for that dude. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I just think I just think you get to a point where I think I think he's got a couple of stores now too, doesn't he? Yeah. I heard he had a couple of BBQ stores. So that know, that's his real bread. Yeah, that's what I, mm -hmm. I I I don't remember where I heard that from, but yeah. Yeah. One of his YouTube, one of his YouTube um, videos is where he's at the store. He had stale cracker out there. He'll bring people like I think it was his grand opening. He had stale cracker out there doing uh, uh, cooking out there. Jump a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Um, but yeah, he doesn't post as much, and he's posting different stuff that's that's off beat to barbecue. Like, what is he doing now? I think he did fried catfish. You know. It's, not traditionally barbecue, but he's cooking. He just throws out a video now, and he 
I mean, he just gets the views because he got so many followers now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you follow somebody for, for so long and in the long run, you're committed to that person, right? So you're always going to follow them. You're always going to... Because it's not just about following the videos. It's You're following that person because... Think back on the first videos that you were watching, the first people that you were following. There was a reason for that, right? There was something going on in your own personal life that that gra- that that ended you up on that channel, and that's why you clicked on it. Something, something was going on. We're all different, right? But we're yeah. all very similar. Yep. Um, in that, and and there's some people that you'll just always follow, like no matter what, because of that, because it's something that was going on in your life during that time. You know, something that's connected you. Um, and I think that I think that when you get up to those million subscribers, man, dude, what else do you need? Like, what else can you what else do you have to do out there? Appreciate that, Troy. Thanks for jumping in. But. But, um, it's like I but say, yeah, he's that's done built itself up in other areas. YouTube's just icing on the cake. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, I think I think from there, his own cookers. You know, his own pellet smokers. Um, you know, if he's got that weight that he can, you know, push, man, do something like I would I would I would I would do my own kind of cooker. Yeah. You know. Um that's what yeah, I would Malcolm do. Reed come up through the competition barbecue circuit. Yep. Yeah. Uh what did it the Memphis barbecue circuit? MB MB something. Him and he throw he was the very first dude yep, I ever saw rolls. do like um, in in the in the rib wrap, uh, the butter and the brown, the brown sugar and the honey, the honey for the money is yep. what he used to call it. Um, you know, and I, I'd be lying if I said I never tried that. I did try that. I didn't like it. I tried. Uh, that wasn't my thing. That's too sweet. But you know, no, that, it just wasn't my thing. But I it's just good I didn't for one like bite. It. I did it. I did it a couple of times because I thought that I did it wrong the first time, and that's just not my kind of flavor profile that that I like on ribs, you know. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, man, he's an awesome, dude. I'd like to meet him one day. Yeah, me too. Somebody shared a story about this guy. Was it last night, Marcus? Uh... On, the, on, on my Instagram, somebody shared a story. They said that. Uh, yeah, it was Daniel from uh, Bonabacoa Bandits. He was saying that uh, they were at a competition and they, they met him there or something like that. And James yeah. from Amen and Clayman was there and they wanted him to meet him and they met. And uh, uh, what's his Did name? He was like, oh, met- yeah, how you doing? Do you want a picture? Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he's, you uh... want a picture? <laughs> 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 yeah, this is so man. He 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 is that status, man. I I know. Um appreciate it. Nothing but love, man. You showing nothing but love, brother. Appreciate yeah. you stopping in. Um you know, I yeah, guys, so we're we're running right at the two hour mark. I, I wanted to be this uh just a just an hour. Uh, I didn't realize that we were gonna be running into uh, two. I feel I feel the energy. I feel like it can continue to go, honestly. But, um, man, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short, dude, because I didn't really want it to go this long. Uh, but I appreciate everybody that came out and supported and, and jumped in and commented and and uh, took part in this uh, uh, first ever Trumpet Master 77 show. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more fun things coming up. Um I'm lining up a giveaway on my next one next Saturday. Uh, must be present to win. Uh, we're gonna do the ducky races and we're gonna do those live. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find out how to share my screen so that I can host that race and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, you guys need to stick around. We're gonna give away some more uh, Circle Star brisket rub and I also have um, I can talk about this giveaway. I've got uh, the Gabbard BBQ sauces. I've got a, a, a giveaway that I'm going to do here soon, um, here within the next few weeks. So that's going to be another giveaway that I'll be doing. Somebody's going to win uh, a pack of the four different flavors. Uh, it's the the uh, the Texas Tang, the Rebel Red, 
the candy jalapeno, which is my personal favorite, and the sweet heat. They're all fantastic, all four. Um, very good sauces there. And you can now find them at your local HEB. Uh, I think, uh, Mike, you, you've probably seen those at HEB. Um, I've seen them, but I haven't tried them yet. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, what else? I'll try them. Uh, you gotta wait until Monday to talk about this other thing, but but a lot of fun, cool things happening. Um, it, I think I think it's refreshing. I don't want to speak for anybody else, but I think it's refreshing to see new people jumping on these lives and doing different things. You know, for for everybody. I, would you guys agree? I agree. I oh mean, yeah. I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm not saying that any of these other guys are old and played out. I'm not saying anything oh. like that. I'm just saying that, hey, you know, it's kind of cool to see some new faces, yeah. some new people. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> money. Yeah, if I win that lotto tonight, man, George. I got you. Oh, hey. If I win that ticket uh-huh. tonight, buddy, Hell I got yeah. you. You'll be the first to know, buddy. I promise. Um, but, you know, a lot of fun things um, coming up. A lot of. A lot of good things are happening after this competition that we all put our heart into. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a lot of fun. I think uh, I think that's what I needed to give me the little push to, you know what, get your lazy ass out there and put your face out there. Start connecting with these followers. Start connecting with these people. Start making them, you know, see who you are, uh, what you look like, uh, you know, what it is other than what it is you do. Um, so... You know, a lot of I, I had a lot of fun the whole thing. You know, congratulate you know all the winners. Jorge ran away with it. I think he was the original favorite to run with it. Um, uh, John got second. Uh, Rick, Rick got third. Rick was supposed to be on tonight. I don't. I guess he was busy. Um, yeah, I'm saying. Uh, if anything, you know, the, the competition, the way I see it, it built bridges because we're all connected now. Even people that didn't compete in the competition, we're all, we all, you know, connect with each other in, in one way after the comp was over. Even during the comp is when, when, when the bridges were being built, you know, but now I think it's, I think it's, it's a pretty for sure deal. Um, a lot of friendships made. Uh, there was a little bit of drama behind the scenes that was kind of silly. Uh, but you know that's to be expected on any kind of competition, on anything that, that on anything that winds up with a trophy. There's always going to be a little drama behind the scenes. Would you guys agree? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, you, yeah. <clears throat> you'll look at your scores and you'll have this one bad judge at a at a bad table. You have a bad table. Exactly. In, in the fight game, if it's a one on one competition in the fight game, boxing. MMA, uh, and there's always controversy, uh, but uh, you know a competition's not a competition without it. And I think I think I think controversy has its place <laughs> in, in in a way, right? Oh, but as long as hell. as long as everybody you know is sticking to 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 the rules that are in place, there it is, man. Controversy gets shut down, right? Yeah. So. Um, this is a lot of fun. Uh, Jorge did a hell of a job on his it, cooks. I mean, yep. he's the only dude that did a whole hog. I'm surprised that he actually did it on a conca. Um, but he did it, man. He, he knocked it out. He knocked that shit out real good. Um, John did a hell of a cook. All his cooks. Everybody's cooks. Uh, Marcus, you did a hell of a cook on that brisket. Um, everybody, you know, I, I, I think I talked about, you know, all the competitors previously. You know, I, on how I learned a little bit from everybody in the competition, all 18, well, 17, me, 18. But um, everybody had a little, you know, thing in the background going on. You know, sleep, we learned that Sleeper was the for real sleeper. You know, mm-hmm. he had some tricks up his sleeve. He, um, he really is a true sleeper. <laughs> Don't sleep on that dude. Yeah. Who would have thought he would have cooked some chicken wings and stuffed them in a in a sausage case? Seriously, who yeah. who would ever ever thought of doing that? That's, that's insane, crazy. man. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Um, 
behind the garage, he's he's a hell of a sauce maker, man. That guy, he's yeah. he's saucy. That guy right there, man. Uh, I gotta show him some love on some Instagram. I've got the perfect sauce uh, song for him. I'm saucing, I'm saucing on you. <laughs> Because that's what he did. He sauced on everybody, man. That dude. Daddy Dutch, the way he did all his wings, that was one hell of a uh, wing buffet mm-hmm. that he did. I would have enjoyed those uh, jalapeno ones that he made. I'm just, damn, I'm all up in that, you know. Uh, Gorilla Joe, mm-hmm. um, he was pretty fresh. None of us really yeah. knew he existed until this competition came around. And I like Gorilla was, Joe. That dude's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah he, was, he was a cool dude. He we got could, good- uh camera presence and he carried himself well and Mm -hmm. his videos were really entertaining and really easy to watch you know and when what was that one video that he did when he was like i know what this sandwich is missing it's missing some brisket and he goes back there and brings Uh his whole damn brisket burger video damn dude he killed it you know um drunken chef we all know drunken chef he he goes he goes across like so many different um boards on the youtube game i mean from bbq to uh you know he, he you might catch him live on a on a bicycle riding circuit or something he's just all across youtube you know he's on everything not just bbq you know mm-hmm. uh but he was finally able to kind of buckle down and launch his rubs so that was really cool with him you know he's got those three three or four different rubs that he's running uh, 805, we all knew he was a beast of a cook. He's always going to be a beast of a cook. Uh, he, he's got the, yeah, he's got the creativity. I, I yeah, think, he does. you know, he's when it comes creative. to cooks. Uh, we saw that from his first cook. That was very damn creative. That was um, insane, man. That yeah, was it, was insane. Like, it was like, oh, well, you know, this pork didn't have any skin, but luckily at my store, they have skin. <laughs> was like, what the he fuck? Has that. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker pulled out like you know all this skin on the side. I was like, "Wow!" And he adapted, um, man. Put it on camera, and it, I think that helped him a lot, man. Because you have to. Yeah, he killed it, man. Killed yeah, it. Yeah, it looked good. And, too. And he's cool, yeah. and he's he's never he's never trying to talk mess or he's 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 probably one of the most humble competitors in the whole competition. He's just like, uh, "Welcome back to the eight oh five barbecue junkie." You know, he's he's just real mellow, real laid back, and he is who he is, and that's who he's always going to be. And I don't think you can really rustle his feathers on anything, uh, you know, and and I think he's real special in the game, and he's going to do some really good things on YouTube, I think, you know. Yeah. Um, So that was really awesome. Uh, We also had uh, Joe Everett. You remember his rib cook that he did? Um. that that was my style of rib that he did. He yeah. killed it, man. That he deep rib did. looked good. He's a he is a rib junkie, man. That guy he, he knows how to cook ribs. I mean, that's mm. all I can say. Uh, I, I would have liked to see him go further into the competition because you know I like I like I love watching his videos. He's a funny guy. Uh, he brings <laughs> you know comedy to it. Uh, there was a little yeah, controversy yeah. behind the scenes with it, but. But it's all said and done. Everything's good, you know. It's just, you know, I think, I think we all end up having a bad day every once in a while, you know. And yeah. I think that might have had something to do with it, you know. But uh, Joe Everett from uh, Everett BBQ, he's a super cool dude. I, I love the guy. Yeah. I mean, he right. just awesome, awesome person. Um, who else did we have? A uh, Camp House. Yeah. He's a beast of a cook. He he'll go out there hunt. Slaughter, Rat- harvest, and cook. Yeah. Cook dinner yeah. with whatever the hell it is that he hunted, and in the morning Killing he's cook. gonna cook breakfast with it. <laughs> you know, um, SJ. So, cook. yeah, SJ. He, hey, speaking of creative, I think that he was the SJ best was in this competition. Creative. I think that he was the best editor uh, for editing videos in this competition. Yeah. I think. I, I think he's got a. I think he's got a, a, a real gift when it comes to that because it takes a lot of – he's got it, man. He just understands it in, in ways that we don't, you know. Uh, yeah. he's, he's he's a damn good cook too, you know, for the little cookers that he has, you know. He's always doing real fire. Uh, and we all know that food just 
give tastes so much better under real fire, open fire, you know, kettles, all that no type doubt. stuff. So yep. he's 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 pushing out some real real food out there, guys. I mean, he's the real deal. Um, Turtles low and slow. That dude, he started his channel just to just to uh, just to compete in the competition, and, and that was my first opponent on that rib cook. And uh, he did he did a few different things. You know, he he took uh, a whole slab of spares and he trimmed it up. Something I haven't done, you know. I learned how to do that from watching his video. I can, I can now trim a whole spare rib into a St. Louis just by watching his video, watching the way he did it. Because, Mike, you and I, we have the, we're lucky to be able to just walk into HEB and be like, do I want to cook a whole spare or a St. Louis? You know, and we'll walk out with whatever it is that we decide to cook, right? Because it's already there. You get the St. Louis ribs over here. You get the whole full spares over here. You get the baby backs over there. You know this. I this guy showed. Spares. That, yeah, that. Yep, and, and I need spares. to do that. I need to do that on one of my future cooks, man. I, that's one thing I have not done yet is a full spare. It but, is but head and he shoulders above ribs, the St. Louis. Yeah, more. The way meat. he cooked his ribs, man. He uh, he did uh, you know, he cut them up. He cut up that one rack uh, before they were done, and he added them to a saucepan. And mm -hmm. I mean, that was creative was, right there. You know. That was awesome, I thought. Yeah. Um, BBQ by Biggs, we can't forget about him. That's yeah. a big Texas heavy hitter right there. Um, he, you know, if you watch his his uh, videos, he's got a video out there. He does the homemade uh, boudin sausage. Like, man, I, I, I'm gonna do that. Just the way that he did it. It's just like everything's cooked, and then he stuffs it in a casing, and then the mm -hmm. next day he smokes it. I mean, I just, dude, he's got some very very good videos. BBQ by Biggs. That dude's got game. He he's he's one of the heavy hitters, and I think a lot of people were shocked to see that he didn't go into the second round because Triple B edged him out on the win on that steak cook. That was the probably steak. closest cook too, I believe. No, yeah, that was it was pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. in that first one, uh, Rick's BBQ specialties. I hate. Oh, what can I say? He made it to the final, right? Yeah, he he made it to the final. I mean, he he's been in the game, dude. He's got a food trainer, you know. It's what he does. It's it's what he does for a living. This is what he does. This, you know, it's not like us. You know, we're pretty much weekend warriors at this kind of stuff, right? Our own backyards, front yards, whatever it is. Um, but he he makes a living off of this stuff, right? Um, and he's trying to get his food trailer back up to to start doing that again. Um, but you know, when he does, I'm gonna pay him a visit. And eat at his food trailer. Yeah. Well, yeah, he just needs to park it in Central Texas, maybe in Austin area. <laughs> that way, it's closer for me to get there. Rick, if you heard that, um, <clears throat> and let's not forget about the Canadian. Oh you know, yeah, we had a Canadian, the Canadian that came that that came with it, and he had that big uh, radio show, and and he actually was pitted up against Rick on the first cook. And uh, Rick was really sweating it because Rick took off with the, with the lead very early, uh, but he was sweating it for a couple of days, thinking that the Canadian was going to announce his competition and what he was doing. And then all these votes were going to be coming in. Um, we don't know to this day if he did that or not, but I, I, I don't think he ever did. You know, but but that could have meant trouble for Rick right there if, if that would have happened, because those are votes right there that. <laughs> That just never, they, they just were never used. Um, and, you know, uh, EKG, the guy that did all the steaks, yeah, um, he knows how to cook a steak. Um, him and his family eat well. Uh, that's all I can say about that guy. <laughs> he was creative the way he sliced them. I mentioned it on somebody's live before. I learned, uh, you know, I could slice it and just twist it into a pinwheel that I, I thought that that was a really neat um i thought that that was a really neat feature I, I never seen anything like that before you know slicing up your steak and then twisting it like this and turning it into a pinwheel that was really cool uh burn ends you know you showed us how to do a brisket a different style a couple of different a, a couple of different uh cookers to come out with an excellent product uh, uh, 
you you showed us how to do that, man. You showed us you showed his heart. You showed us Arizona desert style of cooking that had uh you know it had Texas Texas dust in it. You know that shit right there had some Texas heart in it. You know and you know and and uh, you know I learned I learned from watching your brisket cook, dude. Um, that you. that drum cooker that you have is, is a beast of a cooker. I like it. I like that flared out fan looking thing that you have inside of it. Uh, I, you know, it's so far away from the flame. I'm, I'm sure you get excellent results out of that thing. Very good tasting barbecue coming out of that. Um, I want to call it a haker. It wasn't a haker. It was a Hunsaker. Hunsaker. Yeah, the Hunsaker cooker. That thing is amazing. Amazing. Um, and that was it, man. That was it. And Joe, that. Joe uh, hosted the competition. Very thankful for that. I think we all are. Uh, Very, yeah. Looking forward to maybe one day uh, being part of another one, um, um, and and we'll see what what the future brings. Um, I think I think it was a lot of fun, but you know I think these things, like I said, they build bridges, they, they build friendships, they build. Uh, 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 just different outlooks on on everything. Everything now in the YouTube is completely different than it was before the competition kicked off. Would you guys agree? No, I agree. Oh yeah. I, I think I feel like it's completely different from before the competition started. Yeah. You did I agree. appreciate you, Steven. You gotta talk um, about I gotta give you some props too, man. You turned out some great briskets. I think your editing game picked up, man. I mean, your last video that I watched, I was like, Louis, you're bringing it. There was some energy in that video. I mean, you weren't messing around. You were in it to win it, man. Yeah. Man, yeah. Thank you for that, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. I just wanted to put out a good product. You know, I wanted to put out a good product. And, uh, you know, like I said before, uh, what you guys saw in those cooks that I did, uh, those were actually our dinner for that night. Uh, just like those ribs that I did tonight, uh, that was our dinner. Uh, I did some baby bags, some beans, some asparagus, and some potato salad. But I just focused m the filming into the, the rib cook because it was a comparison of the mop sauces, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the TNT and the Rodney Scott. Uh, uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy to get back into the uh, original swing of everything and start putting, you know, my videos out that I normally did. I was only doing a video, one video uh, a week, you know. So I'm back to doing that, and um, we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, I'll start committing time to these lives and and start doing them, you know, every Saturday from 6 to 7, uh, if time permits. Um, and, and then we'll just go from there and see what happens. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Mike, that would have been awesome to have you on the comp. That would have been cool. Yeah. Yeah, by the time I figured out, it's too late. <laughs> yeah. You need to, you need to uh, jump in on the next one. I probably will. If I got, yeah. if my work schedule works out right. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, take care, Jorge. Appreciate you jumping Later, in. Later, Jorge. Later, uh, but yeah, man, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short, man. Uh, I originally planned to just being on here for an hour. It's been two hours and two and a half hours already. And, and I think that's I think that's a wrap, guys. So I appreciate everybody jumping in. Everybody in the chat. Uh, thank you all. All the thumbs up. All the love. Anybody that jumped in the live. Appreciate you guys. And we'll do this again next Saturday. All right, fellas. Have a good evening. Later. Later, Cheers. Louis. Peace, Peace out, out guys. Gotta be careful. Gotta go get one. <laughs> Later. Yeah. All right.